Ryan here. Welcome back to another Lego City update. Hope you guys are having a great day. I have had quite the month. I've completely redone my beach and I'm really happy about it. I've got a lot of good response on the time lapse I did on it. So I probably will do a proper close up in depth look at this beach. But of course it is city update time. So I'm going to show you everything in my city today. And uh, I'm over here sitting on top of my beach hut next to my monkey. If you can see him over there, uh, it's quite dark. However, I do have all my sig figs in this update. I'm pretty sure I missed them last time. So here they are. Obviously, you know who you are, but I do have a full man, Bricks for Chris, all them, basically. Um, I've got a few more people at the back here, and uh, yeah, so that's really cool. I've also got some pine trees up here. You would have already seen these before if you've been following me on YouTube for quite a while. Uh, this is something I've had in pretty much all my different cities because it's a great way to use up pieces. But over here, this is sort of my beach. And um, like I said, I did do a time lapse on this, so some of you may have already seen it. But I've basically got my beach huts here, and I've got my nice long beach that goes all the way along up to my Ferris wheel, which of course I will be showing you at the very end of this update, as long as as well as the train and the monorail. Uh, but it's it's a nice design. It's the way I wanted it, so I'm really glad it came out um, the way it did. However, I think it's just a little bit too green at the end there. I think I need to break it up a bit. But um, this area over here is all going to be different. I'm going to have like hot dog stands and all sorts of bits and bobs down there. But down the side it's very simplistic and just, I think it came out really nice. The beach itself has quite a lot of details on them, such as surfboards, crabs and scorpions and people sunbathing and stuff like that. Um, so I think it came out really, really nicely. I said that a couple of times now, now you need to let me know if you like it or not. But around here, like I said, it is just... A nice simple cliff on the edge to finish it off I was gonna originally build it over the power box to actually you know hide it but then I realized if I ever wanted to change the batteries that would be quite tricky to undo so I might do that later on but you will see that I do have one of my palm trees over here I am hoping to build more of these very soon um, but unfortunately I just don't have the pieces I've got these bits the leaves but I just don't have the bush so I'm gonna buy some of those very shortly I've got some nice coloured flowers over here. Let's see if I can focus this. There you go. And this is my skate park, which actually just came back from my local skate park. So if you want to see some scootering videos, do go ahead and check out my other channel. I've got a link down in the description below. And you can also check out my Instagram because I do a ton of scootering videos on there as well. But um, I really love this skate park. It's sort of one of my dream skate parks. It's actually based off of my local, which is now destroyed because it got vandalised. But uh, they are building a new one soon, so hopefully... When they build that, I can build that one as well. But I've also got my tennis courts over here. I still haven't got any more tennis players just because I'm finding it really hard to actually find any every time I buy something. But I've got my little chicken down there for my last haul. And um, of course I do have the crazy golf course over here. A lot of people said it's a great use of space and I agree with that, obviously. That's why I built it. But I am wondering if maybe one day I should change this and just sort of have it as an attraction that keeps changing. So maybe I could put anything else really over there so if you guys have any great suggestions i'd love to swap that out with something new and um that'll be really cool but over here this is the rest of the city and a lot of you have already seen this nothing has changed up here for this update but i have got some huge changes coming soon so amongst my modulars over here you can see i've got the cafe leo and this is what should be changing in the next update this is going to be five to six stories tall next time you see it and that's if my haul comes, <laughs> but it's a really cool design, can't wait to bring this up. And of course I will be doing a review on this ground floor very shortly, so I don't want to spoil it too much. But down there I've also got some of my other modulars. I've actually currently got all the available modulars. The only ones I need is like the Cafe Leo Greengrocer and the, um, the uh, Market Street. So I'd really love to get those. Also the Town Hall and Fire Brigade. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, but I'd love to get them one day. Back there I have my pet shop and my police station. Now I've done a review on that police station and also a lot of the custom mocks that I actually have in my city pretty much all have their own video. So if you want to check those out that would be amazing. And over here you can see this is where I stand to actually do all the stuff that I do. And you can also see some of the details that are at the back of other buildings. So if it's slightly out of focus sometimes I need to deal with that. <laughs> But um, over here I do have my Batman and Joker, which is really cool, I think. Uh, it's nice to have little features like that. I was going to hang up the Joker. I'm also going to hang up a helicopter 
roundabouts here, my police helicopter, so that it's sort of flying onto the helipad which is on top of the police station. But um, I don't currently have my monorail or my train stations, and that's just because I haven't worked on it yet. I've got a lot of fun plans. I'm thinking of doing a train and monorail station, so maybe over here I'd have like a train station of some sort with a monorail station on it, so it's just sort of a transport hub. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, but I also have my bus stop down here, so I'm thinking I might do the same colour schemes with the blue, orange and white, because I think that's quite nice. And um, I've also got my bikers and a lot of nice green foliage around this area. I have to admit, I really do love my city, and I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. But like I said, I haven't actually changed anything in this area. It's mostly just this beach, which I think came out absolutely fabulous. So that's what I've got for today's sort of overview. I will be now going ahead and showing you the train and the Ferris wheel and the monorail because it all looks absolutely brilliant. And um, especially the train tracks. I absolutely love the train tracks. I filled all this in with green now. That's finished off. And this area over here where I've got sig figs, it's probably going to be a lighthouse or something in the future. So I look forward to that. But anyway, guys, like I said, that's all I've got for today's video. So make sure to leave a like. And if you really loved it, make sure to subscribe. But that's all I've got for today. And I'll see you in my next video.